What is going on guys? That's what Sarah Crider here. And yep, we're obviously back again in 2022. And the weather has totally made me out to look like a liar when I said, oh uh, yeah, that was gonna be the last moto vlog of the uh, 2022 season. And it is two days, one day? Two days after Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, it's like a low 50s right now. It's like it's like a high 40s, low 50s. And yeah, we, uh, we out here, we out here still somehow. Michigan weather, this is a bunch of malarkey. You're either gonna do one or the other and stay with it because we can't do this whole four days out of the week literally snowing and then two days out of the week nice sunny you know it's comfortable riding weather if you got the right equipment of course yeah that's a whole kind of pain in the ass because you get done winterizing the bike and just to dig it right back out to go riding again and then have to re-winterize it just to go back out maybe like two or three days later but yeah that's if anybody's ever wondering what michigan weather's like yeah that's that's it right there so what today's video is going to be about is as you can see my motorcycle might sound just a little bit different that's because i'm carrying precious cargo being whoo good example oh yeah quick stop champion right there as i was saying before this red light rudely interrupted me what today's video is going to be about is that i have precious cargo on the back being miss esoteric and a lot of people wonder how does the Honda fury handle with a passenger on the back now first things first what i'm going to say is that if you get the honda brand the passenger pavilion i would not necessarily recommend it for long rides it's good for passengers but for short commutes it's, it's good for bar hopping not necessarily for uh you know around the way however i do have a video on the cnc two up touring motorcycle seat which you'll see in the corner of the video right now where that's the seat that i actually have on right now and what miss esoteric is sitting on and yeah she definitely loves it any kind of passenger that i have likes it and so yeah that uh that's definitely the seat that i recommend so that's like first things first is definitely get a uh a touring type C. It doesn't have to necessarily be the CNC one, but that's just the one that I recommend, the one that I've tried. And yeah, that uh that'll definitely help your case. So, the main question being, how does the Honda Fury handle with a passenger? Well, obviously, it handles a bit differently being that it has the longer rake and that you're going to have extra weight. And depending on the size of your passenger, Miss Esoteric is a bit bigger than me. I have to adjust the I have to adjust the suspension accordingly. So one, I, I don't bottom out in case I hit a massive pothole, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make it uncomfortable for her or me. And it doesn't really change the ride as far as going in a straight line and and everything else that's involved. However, of course if you've never ridden with a passenger on a motorcycle you kind of know what to expect because you know that the turns are going to be different, the stops are going to be different, the takeoffs are going to be different. It's not really any different on the Honda Fury. However, the longer rake does do a little bit better as far as the handling goes because like the stoppage and the takeoff, being that you have the longer wheelbase, definitely helps you out in, in most scenarios. Like even in quick stops as you saw when coming up to that first light there. Yeah, that, that definitely stopped. But if I was to pinpoint the number one thing that is different about having a passenger on the Honda Fury is definitely the takeoffs. I have to definitely give it more throttle and release the clutch quicker when I have a passenger on because yeah the, the, the weight difference even though it's you know it's pushed towards the center uh, I think it's just because I'm not I'm not really really a heavy dude I think it's just because I'm so used to the bike managing under its own under its own power that it gives and not really me giving having to give it too much power you know and anything different that is now that would uh that definitely would be the number one thing that I would say is different about the Honda Fury when you have a passenger on it. It's definitely the takeoffs. The stops, I mean, that's kind of the same for any bike. You just gotta start, you gotta begin to stop a little bit quicker. Do I recommend learning how to uh, have a passenger on the Honda Fury? Yeah, yeah, you could definitely get away with it. It would definitely be, uh, definitely be doable but just if you're going to do it on a honda fury make sure you know your honda fury make sure you're good with cornering make sure you're good with uh, turning from a stop whole nine yards you're really honestly your basics that you learn in your msf course make sure you have those mastered down to a pat so i think 
that is going to end my little uh, spiel for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a thing or two. If you guys have any questions or recommendations, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below this video. And if you did like what you saw, be sure to check out the Instagram at Esoteric Rider where I post pictures and videos of motorcycle content, including this fine specimen of a motorcycle that is this 2020 Honda Fury. And no, I'm not breaking my tradition of ending a video at a stoplight. So, jump cut. Anyway, now that we're not at that stoplight, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more motorcycle content like this. And once again, I thank you guys for watching. And when you ride, be safe and ride free. Peace out.